exclusive contract with Velu Novel Network Novel. Man in the Pirates. Obtaining eight wonderful techniques at the beginning with the eight extraordinary skills of a stranger, Chu Chia arrived at the world of the Pirate King forty or fifty years ago. At that time, Roger was a newcomer, Edward had no white beard, and was still a girl and Cap was in military training Chu Chia decided that since Legend had not yet been born, he would become a Legend himself. Chu Chia left behind legends of eight extraordinary skills in the vast sea, including the origin and flow of Qi, the restraint of spirits and the dispatch of generals, the extraordinary gate after the wind, and the refinement of divine machines. Warring States Period Roger's Wumpus and Chu Chia's eight wonderful skills jointly opened the era of the great pirates. Roger. In terms of fame, I may be number one, but in terms of strength, I can always only rank second. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1. I come, I see, I conquer. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Located in the New World, Hachinos is a remote and small island. But it is such a small island that even the most experienced naval officers, upon hearing its name, cannot help but feel a chill on their backs and their hair stand on end. Hachinos, also known as the Pirate Island or the Forbidden Island, is home to countless fierce and vicious pirates who gather here, with a fierce aura that soars to the sky all day without any sunlight. Here, there are countless pirates with bounties of over 10 million, and those with bounties of over 100 million run all over the ground. There is a small wooden house on the island of Hachinos, and every 10 o'clock in the morning, a large number of ferocious pirates gather here on time, eagerly guarding the door. Quiet as a virgin, even afraid to speak loudly. G. Under the hopeful gaze of the pirates, the door of the small wooden house was slowly pushed open. A young man wearing a hooded jacket with black eyes and black hair walked out from inside. The boy yawned lazily and didn't wake up. After the young man appeared, all the pirates immediately shouted in unison, Good morning, Lord Seven Knights. Chu Chia rubbed his eyes and ignored the group of pirates. He simply said calmly, Let's continue the order from yesterday, number 6635. Lord Seven Knights, it's me. It's me. A one-legged pirate with a crutch squeezed out of the crowd, holding a number card, with an uncontrollable excitement and excitement on his face. Come with me, the others will queue up in order. After Chu Chia finished speaking, he turned around and returned to the wooden house, followed closely by the one-legged pirate a few minutes later, the one-legged pirate ran out of the wooden house in tears, with no crutches in his hand, and walked briskly, his symmetrical legs no different from those of an ordinary person. Ha ha ha. My legs are back. My legs are back. The one-legged pirate burst into tears while also laughing loudly. For this scene, other pirates have already taken it for granted. After all, the methods of the Black Devil Chu Chia are no longer considered a secret in the entire Hachinos. Inside the wooden house, Chu Chia lay on a rocking chair made of vines, playing with a crown adorned with gemstones. After playing for a while, Chu Chia felt bored and casually threw the crown in the corner of the wall. The corners of the wooden house are piled with various rare treasures. Even a gemstone crown worth millions of baileys appears very ordinary among this pile of treasures. Lying on the rocking chair, Chu Chia placed his hands on pillows and looked at the ceiling above his head, feeling a myriad of emotions in his heart. I've been here for three years now, and I don't know how my parents are doing. Can we still go back? As a pirate enthusiast, Chu Chia dreams of traveling to the world of the Pirate King, embarking on adventures at sea, and competing with the strong. Unexpectedly, it has come true. However, Chu Chia traveled too early, at least forty or fifty years before the plot began. Not to mention the protagonist Luffy, his father is just a drop of liquid. Roger hasn't arrived in the new world yet, Edward's beard is still golden, and Auntie is not Auntie. 
Cap is currently undergoing military training at the headquarters although there were some regrets, Chu Chiya was more excited. It is an honor to be contemporary with these legendary figures. Caesar the Great One said, I come, I see, I conquer. This sentence perfectly fits Chu Chiya's current state of mind. Since legend has not yet been born, why not join in and become a part of it? Even surpassing legend and becoming above legend. Open the panel, Chu Chiya silently recited in his heart. Liuku Immortal Thief, Perfect, Proficiency 100%, Double Handed, De Cheng, Proficiency 98.5%, Tong Tian Book, Unlocked, Proficiency 0, Lingzhu Dispatch General, Unlocked, Proficiency Level 0, Feng Ho Chi Minh, Unlocked, Proficiency 0, Divine Machine Refining, Unlocked, Proficiency 0, De Luo Dong Guan, Unlocked, Proficiency Level 0, Qi Body Source Stream, Unlocked, Proficiency 0, As a Traveler, Chu Chia naturally has his own golden fingers. This is also the foundation for him, as an ordinary teenager, to establish himself in Hachinos on Pirate Island. The Eight Wonders technique from the Alien comics is his golden finger, but currently only the Lyoku Immortal Thief and Xuanxuan Hand have been unlocked. Only when the previous Eight Wonders skill is fully mastered and the proficiency reaches 100%, can the next one be unlocked. Even with the assistance of the system, it took Chu Chia a year to fully grasp the Six Treasures Immortal Thieves. And it took Xuanxuan two years to reach 98%. Both Lyoku Immortal Thief and Xuanxuan Hand are auxiliary eight skills that are not widely used in practical combat. However, fortunately, Xuanxuan Hand's proficiency is about to be fully increased, and they can quickly unlock the Tong Tian book. After regaining his senses, Chu Chiye stood up and shouted to the outside, 6636. At number 6636 is a strong man over three meters tall, with scars all over his body, and his right hand is wrapped in a bloody bandage. After entering the door, the strong man couldn't help but glance at the corner of the wall. There's no way, that pile of treasure is too dazzling. The strong man's eyes were full of envy, if he had so much treasure, he would still be a useless pirate. Envy returns to envy, but he dare not harbor any greed. The person in front of me is not only a super great pirate with a bounty of over 500 million Pele, but also has an influence in Hachinos that is second only to the Sea Hegemon Locks. More than two dot thirds of the pirates of Hachinos have accepted the favor of Chu Chia. If someone dares to touch Chu Chia's things, he doesn't even have to do it himself, just open his mouth, and a large number of pirates will appear and tear them into pieces. Lord Chia, take a look. Is my arm still salvageable? Do I need to amputate and change hands? The strong man asked in a low voice. Chu Chia walked forward, briefly checked it, and then said, No need. That's good. The strong man breathed a long sigh of relief. Healing an injury only requires 50,000 Pele, replacing limbs and organs requires hundreds to millions of Pele, and it must also be an equivalent treasure. Now relax your body and don't resist. After speaking, a red chi slowly appeared on Chu Chia's right hand. Chu Chia placed his red hand on the injured arm of the strong man, and half a minute later, slowly withdrew it. Okay. Upon hearing this, the strong man tore off the bandage, and his previously bloody arms became intact and regained consciousness. Aha. You truly deserve to be Lord Seven Knights. Your technique is truly divine, thank you very much. After finishing speaking, he put down a bag of coins and turned around to leave. For pirates, bleeding and injury are a common occurrence, and having a broken hand or foot is considered lucky. But if a pirate loses his hands and feet, it is likely to be useless, after all, not everyone is called shanks. The appearance of the Black Devil Chu Chia brought hope to these pirates. Chapter 2 Edward Without a White Beard You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Xuanxuan Hand, one of the Eight Wonders, has two forms. Blue Hand and Red Hand, hence the name Xuanxuan Hand. 
Blue hands can modify souls, detect lies, read and delete memories, and even rewrite cognition. Red hands can modify the body, have functions such as contouring, healing, and reshaping limbs. Chu Chia wandered on the sea for a year, using both hands to accomplish many things, with a bounty of 580 million belly. Because he likes to wear black hooded jackets and has black hair and pupils, although he doesn't kill much, his methods are extremely eerie, so he is called the Black Devil. Afterwards, Chu Chia went to Hachinos on Pirate Island and opened a medical clinic, where he improved his proficiency in both hands by helping people treat illnesses and injuries. Bang! Chu Chia was changing his mind for an old pirate when the wooden door was suddenly violently smashed open, along with the door frame, causing it to crumble. Who is the Black Devil? The newcomer is a super muscular man who is nearly four meters tall, with dark skin and a tower like shape. At first glance, it is clear that the newcomer is not kind. Chu Chia's mouth slightly raised as he walked up to the muscular man, lifted his head, and looked at him face to face. If there's no one else, then it's probably me. Chu Chia, who was only 1.85 meters tall and had a slightly frail physique, stood in front of a muscular man, no different from a child. The muscular man was somewhat surprised and said in a disdainful tone, the bounty of 580 million Bailey's black devil is such a small thing. Those navies are really useless. Without paying attention to the sarcasm of the muscular man, Chu Chia always smiled and said, Why do you come to me, Your Excellency? I heard that your medical skills are amazing. No matter how many injuries you have, even if you break your hands or feet, you can be cured. Is that true? asked the muscular man. If you want to treat your illness, please go and get your number first, and also prepare enough medical expenses. Thank you for your cooperation. He he he. The muscular man smiled and said in a commanding tone, My pirate team still lacks a ship doctor, it's you. Come with me. Ha ha ha. He 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 he. The pirates outside the door burst into laughter, looking at the muscular man as if he was looking at a mentally disabled person. How did this fool get to Hachinos? Sigh. This generation of pirates can't do it. To be honest, I admire his courage for daring to cause trouble here. Chu Chia smiled and didn't answer. He slowly turned around, picked up a silver surgical knife from the table, and then asked, What if I refuse? You don't have the right to refuse, either come with me or die, choose between the two, said the muscular man with a sinister expression, what a difficult choice. Chu Chia looked helpless. Since we can't solve this problem, we can only solve the person who set the question. You want to die. The muscular man flew into a rage and slashed at Chu Chia with a hand knife, unexpectedly splitting him in half. However, the Chu seven knights were split in half and disappeared instantly. Remnants. The muscular man was shocked and suddenly sensed something, and quickly turned around. Sure enough, Chu Chia stood behind him, but for some reason, there was a hint of crimson on his surgical knife. The muscular man was about to speak, but was horrified to find that his limbs were numb. Immediately after, his eyes turned black and he completely lost consciousness. Bang! 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 The muscular man's arms, head, and torso all fall to the ground, leaving only two legs standing straight and upright, which is what is known as, breaking down eight pieces. Chu Chia picked up his arm from the ground and said with a smile, I've been worried about not having enough hands and feet lately. I didn't expect someone to come to my door so soon. At the same time as cutting, Chu Chia used the strength of both hands to cut off his limbs and head, and instantly repaired the wound without leaving any blood on the ground. Chu Chia's bounty of 580 million bailey is not a drop of water, and his strength can definitely reach the level of 500 million pirates. Ryoku Immortal Thief, the first eight unique skills unlocked by Chu Chia. Its function is to build a perfect digestive system based on the six organs of the body, which can instantly decompose any inhaled substances and convert nutrients into energy through circulation. 
In other words, due to the existence of the six treasures immortal thieves, Chu Chie could become stronger as long as he kept eating. In recent years, the sea kings and beasts that Chu Chie ate were piled up enough to fill a sea. His current strength and speed can be compared to the future four speed road flying. Moreover, through the perfect intake of nutrients by the Lyoku immortal thief, Chu Chie's body will hardly age and his energy will become more vigorous. The immortality of the Lyoku Immortal Thief, coupled with the physical repair of both hands. Chu Chia is almost an immortal being, and it is difficult to kill him unless both his head and heart are smashed at the same time. After tidying up the muscular man's severed limb, Chu Chia seemed as if nothing had happened and continued his work. Who's next? Speed, I'm going to have lunch. Bang! There was another loud noise, and the already dilapidated gate became even more dilapidated. Because the person who broke in this time is a full six meters tall, almost reaching the ceiling. The gate was damaged twice, which made Chu Chia a bit angry, but when he saw the appearance of the person coming, he immediately smiled. Oh, Seven Knights brother, long time no see. Chu Chia laughed and cursed, Edward, you bastard. Every time you come, you break my door and lose money. Gullah. Edward laughed and said, You are the wealthiest pirate in Hachinos, do you still lack this money? Stop talking nonsense, the last guy who broke my door is still hanging behind us. Do you want to be the next one? Gullah. Edward just chuckled foolishly, not taking Chu Chia's words seriously. The two of them have been good friends for a long time, and it is common to laugh at each other. Edward Newgate is now in his prime, with a golden beard and hair, and he doesn't have the nickname, White Beard, yet. After entering the room, Edward didn't consider himself an outsider at all and casually found a spot to sit down. Hurry up and bring out the good wine. I must have tasted you today. Edward shouted. Ha ha ha. Do you want to drink from me? That's impossible. After speaking, Chu Chia shouted directly at the pirates outside, Get out of here, everyone. Today ends early. Ah. Lord Seven Knights, I've been queuing for five days. What's five days? I've been almost two weeks now. Passing by in three weeks. The pirates were howling and complaining incessantly. What? Do you have any objections? Chu Chia just gave them a glare, and the pirates immediately scattered the birds and orcs. The empty space, which had just been extremely noisy, was instantly clear. Chapter 3 Lok Sai You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Chu Chia and Edward met in a bar. The two were full of vitality, and their anger was more than their tolerance for alcohol. They drank all the alcohol in the bar and still had no say in the outcome. The two people, who disagreed with each other, engaged in a fierce competition. After drinking for two days and one night, Edward ultimately fell first. It can be said that, no fight, no acquaintance, and the two became friends as a result. A few months after their separation, the two met again in Hachinos, so their relationship became better and better. I came at the right time. Yesterday, I received a barrel of century-old wine that millions of Baileys couldn't buy. I had planned to keep it and drink it slowly, but today you came knocking on my door. Gullalala. Don't be so stingy, wine is something that must be enjoyed in moderation. A few minutes later, Chu Chia jumped out of the cellar with one hand holding a wine barrel. After filling his own bowl, he was about to pour wine for Edward, but he was quick-witted and grabbed the barrel. Come, seven knights, cheers. Edward retorted. Chu Chia smiled bitterly and shook his head, lifting the large wine bowl in his hand and touching it with him. Ah ah. Refreshing. It's really good wine. Centennial aged wine, the concentration is not a joke, ordinary people may get drunk just by smelling it. Edward drank half a bucket in one breath, and soon a slight blush appeared on his face. On the other hand, Chu Chia saw the bottom of his wine bowl, but his face remained unchanged, 
as if what he had just drunk was not wine, but water. You're such a monster, kid. I'm afraid even the strongest wine is no different from drinking water to you, Edward couldn't help but sigh. Although Edward said he wanted to drink Chu Chia, he knew that this guy was truly a thousand cups never poured and could never get drunk. Edward remembered the first time the two of them had been drinking together, drinking for two days and one night, emptying all the bars on the street. After the end, Chu Chia's face didn't even turn red, but he himself was already drunk and slept for several days before sobering up. Do you want to know why I didn't pour a thousand cups? Chu Chia asked mysteriously. Hmm. Upon hearing this, Edward immediately sat upright and perked up his ears, afraid of missing out. Chu Chia smiled heartily and said in a very slow tone, the secret to not pouring a thousand cups is. That's. As he listened, Edward couldn't help but clench his fist and his breathing began to become rapid. Edward has never been interested in other people's secrets. But as a good drinker, he really wants to know the secret of Chu Chia's never pouring a thousand cups. As he was speaking, Chu Chia suddenly changed his tone and said, Alas. Let's forget about it. I'll tell you later. Dot. Realizing that he had been fooled, Edward instantly became angry and grabbed Chu Chia's collar, lifting him up. In front of Edward, who was over six meters tall, Chu Chia was like a little doll. Stinky kid, you're playing with me again. Today either tell me the secret to not pouring a thousand cups, or go to the sea to feed the fish. Um. Calm down, calm down first. I will definitely tell you the secret of not pouring a thousand cups in the future, and I will be the first to tell you, but not now. After speaking Chu Chia's words, Edward's anger dissipated for the most part. What else can we do if we all say that? Of course, I chose to forgive him. The secret of Chu Chia's thousand cups not pouring is, of course, the secret of eight wonderful techniques. The Lyoku immortal thief can convert everything in his stomach into energy, and alcohol is no exception, so Chu Chia can hold a thousand cups without pouring. The Lyoku immortal thief is a divine skill that can achieve immortality. It is hard to imagine what a huge sensation it would bring if it were to be spread. Before gaining enough strength to confront the world, Chu Chia would never reveal the eight wonderful skills. Externally, it can be said to be a natural talent or a demon fruit ability. Damn it! I was really careless in making friends. Edward sighed and released Chu Chia. Big brother, should I say that? Chu Chia smiled bitterly and said, Every time you come here, you eat my food, drink my food, take my money, and even break my door. Who is the one who made friends carelessly? Gulla. Edward smiled awkwardly. It's pointless to haggle between brothers. Come on, let's continue drinking. Chu Chia didn't bring any wine. He straightened his collar and changed his previous cynical attitude. He said to Edward, You're here this time, shouldn't you just come to me for a drink? Upon hearing this, Edward also put down his drink and his expression became serious. Do you know that Lox is forming a pirate group? Chu Chia chuckled and said, Hachinos is just such a big place. I have to face half of the pirates on the island every day. Can't you not know? That's true. Did he invite you? Edward nodded and said, It's not just me, it's not just Hachinos. In the entire New World, he almost invited all the pirates who could be named. It's called a pirate group, but it's more like a pirate gathering, gathering all the heinous pirates in the New World. Edward's tone was somewhat disdainful when he said this. Chu Chia pursed his lips and said, This guy's ambition is like piercing the sky. That's right, Edward thought deeply. Did you agree? Chu Chia asked. After a moment of silence, Edward spoke slowly and said, Yes. We had a fight, and I lost, so I agreed to join. After a pause, Edward continued, Although this guy has great ambitions, joining his pirate group is an excellent experience. That's the second reason why I chose to join. After listening to Edward finish speaking, 
Chu Chia suddenly thought of something and frowned slightly. Edward gave Chu Chia a deep glance and said, Your abilities are so excellent that he will definitely not let them go. Chu Chia chuckled and said, I knew. For strong pirates with impressive abilities, Rox will personally come to invite them. He has already invited Ski, Charlotte Lingling, Keto, and me, and it's your turn. With the style of Rox, it is said to be an invitation, but in fact, it is just coercion and temptation. If you don't eat the soft one and directly go for the hard one, you won't have the chance to refuse at all. I came today to remind you to prepare early. How to prepare? You don't know his character, can I still refuse? Chu Chiye shrugged and looked indifferent. Actually, you're right. Joining his pirate group is a great opportunity for training, and I have no reason to miss it. Gulalala. Edward smiled happily and said, As long as you can figure it out, we will be companions on the same boat from now on. Chapter 4 Unlock the Tong Tian Book You are listening at NovelFull.audio How strong is rocks? Chu Chia suddenly asked. Edward hesitated for a moment and then said in a deep voice, He is very strong. His armed and experienced auras are both top.notch, and his swordsmanship and physical skills are also superior to mine. The Locke's bounty of 2.1 billion Bailey is currently the highest bounty pirate in the New World and the only pirate with a bounty exceeding 2 billion. In terms of strength and influence, he is undoubtedly the Sea Hegemon and the Quasi Pirate King. As for Roger, his bounty is not as high as Chu Chia's. Locke should also be a Devil's Fruit ability, have you seen his abilities? Edward shook his head and said, No, he's just too strong. Even if I use the shaking fruit, I couldn't force his ability. When he said this, Edward was clearly feeling a bit depressed. Reaching out and patting Edward's arm, Chu Chie comforted him, don't be too disappointed. Junjin fruit is the strongest superhuman demon fruit. After you fully develop it, you will definitely be able to compete with locks. I hope so. The white beard of later generations, with the ability to shake fruits, can shatter a small island with just one punch. But now Edward, it has only been two or three years since he ate the shaking fruit, and one-tenth of the fruit's ability has not yet been developed. Edward looked at Chu Chia with a playful expression on his face and said, Now that you know Lox's strength, are you still planning to fight him? The personalities of the two are so similar. Edward knew exactly what Chu Chia wanted to do, otherwise he wouldn't have asked him about rock strength. Why not? Chu Chia's eyes were blazing with flames, and he couldn't help but clench his fist. I'm really looking forward to fighting against the strongest pirate in the New World. Gullah. Edward laughed while drinking and said, Seven Knights, if you're a capable person, maybe you can fight him without hesitation. The two people who are close friends with each other have certainly engaged in sparring, and they have done so many times, which can be considered as having a deep understanding. Edward admitted that Chu Chia's physical skills were stronger than his, but if he used the ability to shake the fruit, he could easily defeat Chu Chia. He he he. Looking down at his own hand, Chu Chia murmured softly, Maybe I can give it a try. Edward drank until evening before leaving drunk leaving only an empty wine barrel on the ground. Chu Chia slowly extended his palms, and two masses of qi, one blue and one red, rose at the same time, although I know there's no chance of winning, I still want to see how much weight I have. The next day, Chu Chia hung a sign in front of the wooden house, offering, free all day. As soon as the notice was issued, a large number of pirates rushed in and crowded in front of Chu Chia's door. The Black Devil has excellent medical skills and the ability to live and die, but the cost is too high and not many people can afford it. Today suddenly became free, how could these pirates miss it? Chu Chia also changed his previous attitude of being extremely lazy and devoted himself to healing others, constantly taking a break only when his physical strength was exhausted. Every time a patient is cured, Chu Chia will take a look at the system panel. Double handed, De Cheng, proficiency 98.6%, double skilled, De Sheng,
proficiency rate of 98.9%, .9%, full-handed, satisfactory, 100% proficiency, ding, the proficiency of both hands has reached 100%, and the third skill of the Eight Wonders technique, the Tong Tian book, has been unlocked. Nice. Finally unlock the Tong Tian book. Finally hearing the system prompt, Chu Chie was so excited that he almost jumped up. Unlike Xuanxuan Hand and Liu Ku Immortal Thief, Tong Tian Lu is one of the eight unique skills that can be fully applied in practical combat. Its various wonderful uses are definitely no worse than any demon fruit. The Heavenly Talisman is the ultimate ability of talismans. Generally, talismans take at least several hours to complete, but the Heavenly Talisman can draw talismans by hand, ignoring all limitations. If Chu Chia's strength is at the level of 500 million pirates, now with the addition of the Tong Tian book, it is enough to fight against 1 billion pirates. Tong Tian technique, beginner, proficiency level 1% I believe that in no time, rocks will come knocking on me. I must hurry up to practice the Tong Tian technique and improve my proficiency, Chu Chia thought to himself. In the days to come, Chu Chia's medical clinic will not reopen. I don't plan to open it again in the future, after all, he doesn't care about money. Opening a medical clinic is just to improve my proficiency. Now that both hands are fully proficient, there is no need to waste time. The sea is what Chu Chia yearns for. Seven days later, on the other side of the island of Hachinos, Chu Chia stood on an empty ground, with his hands in his pockets and a calm expression. In front of him is a huge lion that is over five meters tall and grinning. Chu Chia reached out a hand from his pocket and hooked his finger at the giant lion. Come on, little kitten, it's lunchtime, he said, ow. After a roar, the giant lion began to exert its strength and charged towards Chu Chia. Chu Chia raised his fingers with a hint of blue light and began to draw symbols in the air. The next second, a complex rune has already been drawn. Five thunder talismans. One level. A blue thunderbolt with a thin arm flew out of the talisman and hit the lion without bias. Ahem. After a scream, the lion fell to the ground, emitting black smoke all over its body, as if it had been roasted, charred on the outside and tender on the inside. Don't misunderstand, it's my lunch time. Walking up to the lion, Chu Chia pulled off one thigh and started gnawing directly. The taste is good, it's medium cooked. In just two hours, the five meter tall lion was eaten by Chu Chia, leaving only its skeleton. On the other hand, Chu Chia ate so much, but his stomach didn't fluctuate at all. This is the magic of the Lyoku Immortal Thief. The only drawback of the Lyoku Immortal Thief is that it grows too slowly. After being full of alcohol and food, Chu Chia opened his Eight Wonders panel. Tong Tian Lu, Xiao Cheng, proficiency 26%, improving proficiency is like upgrading in a game. The first step is to improve quickly, the higher the level, and the slower the progress towards the end. After unlocking Xuanxuan, Chu Chia only took two months to increase his proficiency to 70%, but the remaining 30% took a year and a half. Chu Chia murmured to himself, now I have mastered four types of talismans, and the five thunder talismans have been increased to three levels. Even if I can't defeat rocks, I shouldn't lose too badly, right? The beasts here are too weak to fight against. There's really no pressure, so let's go back first. Shinching Talisman As Chu Chia ran, he added two divine talismans to his feet, instantly becoming as light as a swallow. Chapter 5 Meeting the Sea Overlord You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Returning to the wooden house, Chu Chia stretched lazily while preparing to open the door. Just as Chu Chia was about to touch the doorknob, a powerful pressure suddenly attacked him from behind the door. The pressure was incredibly terrifying, capable of causing substantial damage, and cracks began to appear on the wooden house. Chu Chia couldn't help but take a step back. What a powerful and domineering aura. 
Chu Chiye refused to be outdone and also launched his own domineering and domineering spirit to confront it. Two domineering colors collided, causing the surrounding space to twist and a black thunder to appear. In this fierce confrontation, Chu Chiye was clearly at a disadvantage, much inferior. Chu Chiye's domineering and domineering demeanor was awakened during a duel with Edward last month. The awakening time is still short, and the opponent's dominant color is even more advanced, so Chu Chiye naturally cannot resist. Bang! Finally, the wooden house couldn't withstand the two powerful pressures and exploded like popcorn. After the smoke and dust cleared, Chu Chiye saw the person coming clearly. Although I already knew who he was, I was still somewhat surprised after meeting him. The person who came was none other than the strongest one on the sea, the pirate Hegemon Locks. His hair stood tall and towering, like an octopus. He was shorter than Edward, only about four or five meters tall, and had a big scar on his forehead. Locke, dressed in a black coat, sat on Chu Chia's chair, crossed his legs and crossed his fingers on his knees, looking like a big shot. After meeting, both of them put away their domineering and domineering demeanor. Truly worthy of being the famous pirate Lord Locks, it's true that being famous is not as good as seeing him at first sight. Chu Chiye politely explained. Locks chuckled and said, the reputation of the black devil is not small. Although it only has a bounty of 500 million, it is said that you are the most skilled pirate doctor in the entire new world, and even the entire sea. Ha ha ha. Chu Chiye also smiled. Lord Locks, is he looking for me to treat his illness? It's hard to imagine you getting hurt. Stop talking nonsense. Locke stood up from his chair and walked slowly towards Chu Chia. I formed a pirate group, but now I lack a ship doctor. The best pirate group naturally needs the best ship doctor, you should understand what I mean. The two looked at each other, and the distance was gradually getting closer. Facing rocks, Chu Chia remained unchanged. Lox is very strong, but Chu Chie will not bow down to anyone, not now, not even in the future. Your proposal can be considered, but I prefer to be a pirate rather than a doctor, Chu Chie said lightly. Lox had already walked up to Chu Chie and looked down at him, saying in a deep voice, You don't have the power to consider, and being a pirate requires strength. Do you have it? If dealing with other pirates, Rox will first lure them. But the Black Devil is the wealthiest pirate in Hachinos, with more money than him, so Lox is prepared to take a tough approach directly. Chu Chia's mouth curved upwards, I want to give it a try. Okay, I'll give you this opportunity. As soon as he finished speaking, Rox punched Chu Chia directly. The speed and strength directly tore through the air, and a sonic boom suddenly sounded. So strong. The speed was too fast, even though Chu Chiye had already foreseen his attack with his aura and aura, he couldn't escape and could only resist forcefully. Chu Chiye crossed his arms and attached an armed aura for defense. Bang! Chu Chiye was directly thrown out by this punch, rolled in the air, and with the help of cushioning, managed to barely stand and land. Although Chu Chiye resisted this punch, both of his arms were already broken and trembling. Not bad, my punch has 70% power. Even for the giants, taking my punch will be either fatal or injurious. If you can still stand, it shows that your strength is indeed impressive. Locke said with satisfaction, I admit it to you. Take good care of yourself and report to my pirate team when your arm recovers. After speaking, ignoring Chu Chie's reaction, Locke's prepared to turn around and leave. Ha ha ha. Chu Chia suddenly burst out laughing and said, Lord Lox, don't worry, we've just started. Hmm. Rox frowned. Chu Chia's arms began to emit red gas, and after a few seconds, the red gas disappeared, and Chu Chia's arms fully recovered. Chu Chia moved his arms and smiled, Lord Lox, have you forgotten? I'm a doctor. Interesting. It's really interesting. Although he had heard of the abilities of the Black Devil, this was the first time Locks had seen them, and he had always thought he was exaggerating them. 
Now it seems that not only has it not been exaggerated, but it has also been underestimated. While surprised, Locks was also extremely excited. There was one black devil, equivalent to three billion dollar pirates. Imagine how terrifying it would be to have a pirate group that never gets injured and can always maintain its peak combat power. Thinking of this, Rox's gaze at Chu Chia changed, his eyes lit up, as if a rogue was looking at a stunning beauty. Seeing Lox looking at him like this, Chu Chia instantly felt his scalp tingling. Labor management is not a beauty, let alone a fag. Chu Chia, there's no need to fight anymore. After joining the rogue pirates, your status is only below mine, equivalent to that of a co-captain. How about that, said Rogue seriously. He he he. I have heard this countless times, and my answer will always be one. As Chu Chia spoke, he wrapped his armed and domineering aura around his arms and feet, putting on a fighting posture. You want me to join your pirate group, unless I can be convinced. Chu Chia understood in his heart that joining the Rock's pirates was a foregone conclusion, but he would never give up on this battle. Ha ha ha. Not bad, with personality, I like it. Rox hooked his hand at Chu Chia and chuckled lightly, Come on, let me see your weight. As you wish. As Chu Chia rushed towards Rox, he unleashed his legs and leaped high, using all his strength in mid-air to kick him with a hook kick. Rox's expression froze, and he lifted his right arm, which was already entangled in an armed and domineering aura, blocking Chu Chia's hook foot. Bang! At the moment of kicking, Chu Chia's powerful force shattered the ground, and a circular pit with a radius of four or five meters was pressed out from the center of locks. You have great strength. I really underestimate you. Rock's eyes began to become more serious. Chapter 6 The First Battle of the Tong Tian Book, Frequent Means Used You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. During this period, Rox has fought against many pirate powerhouses in order to attract people to the pirate group, including the $1 billion bounty level pirate. Among these pirates, Chu Chia's strength and speed can definitely rank among the top three. Seeing himself being blocked with all his might, Chu Chia had no accidents. He quickly adjusted his posture, stood upside down on the ground, jumped up like a spring, and kicked Rox. This time, Lox failed to stop and was kicked firmly in the chin. Although he successfully kicked Lox, Chu Chien knew in his heart that this kick was not painful or itchy for Lox. Rox twisted his slightly misaligned chin and said calmly, If that's your limit, then we don't need to fight anymore. Lox's words made Chu Chia couldn't help but feel that if it had been a week ago, there was no need to play again, as the level was too poor. But now, Chu Chia still has a chance to work hard. Five thunder talismans, one heavy. Chu Chia shouted loudly and quickly condensed the talisman. Fu Cheng, a thunderbolt with thin arms appeared out of thin air, striking directly at locks. Surprisingly, there are still such methods. You have given me quite a few surprises. Faced with this thunderous attack, Lox had no intention of avoiding it because it was unnecessary. I saw Lox raise his big hand and slap the thunder, but he forcefully scattered the thunder. After dispersing the thunder, without giving Chu Chia a chance to react, Rox disappeared from the spot in an instant. Back. Chu Chia foresaw the attack of Rox with his aura and aura, but as the saying goes, the level difference is too great, and foresight does not mean he can avoid it. The speed was so fast that Chu Chia didn't even have time to turn around, and Lox's fist had already fallen. The game is over. Just as Rox was about to hit Chu Chia, a blue light suddenly lit up on Chu Chia's back, followed by a huge talisman. A large black aura surged out of the talisman, blocking Rox's fist while generating a tremendous force that pushed him away. Chu Chia took the opportunity to distance himself from Lox. As long as the distance was far enough, no matter how fast Lox was, he had time to react. The Shangqing Five Strength Talisman can temporarily borrow the power of the Five Plague Gods for defense or attack. 
The disadvantage is that the scope is small and the spells are complex. With Chu Chi's current proficiency, it takes at least one minute to condense the talisman. So Chu Chi arranged the five strength talisman on his body in advance to protect his life, and only activated it when he was about to suffer significant damage. Unexpectedly, Rox knocked out his talisman with just one face. How many strange tricks do you have? Use them all, don't waste your time, said Rox impatiently. How could Rox not be angry when dealing with a 500 million little pirate and being slapped repeatedly? Chu Chiya remained silent and was currently contemplating. His current strongest attack technique is the Triple Five Thunder Talisman, but judging from the performance of the Triple Five Thunder Talisman, even if he uses the Triple Five Thunder Talisman, it will not cause too much damage to the rock's illumination. Since that's the case, Chu Chiya tore off his coat, revealing six abdominal muscles and a strong body of tendinous flesh. Lox, I'm going to do my best next. Don't be lenient. Lox just smiled and didn't speak. Chu Chiya took a deep breath, then slowly lifted his hands and began to condense talismans. Golden Armor Talisman Double After two golden talismans were condensed, they attached to Chu Chia's body and arms. The crisscrossing mysterious runes are like a golden lock armor. After the golden armor talisman was condensed, Chu Chia once again covered his entire body with armed color and domineering aura. The combination of golden runes and black dominance is incredibly cool while also exuding a strong sense of power. It's not over yet, Chu Chia began to draw symbols. Divine Charm Double After the completion of the talisman, two blue spells swam to Chu Chia's feet like small snakes. At the same time, maintaining the dual levels of Divine Charm and Golden Armor Charm, for the current Chu Chia, the cost is not small and can only be quickly fought and decided. Let's start, rocks. As soon as the words fell, Chu Chia, like a detached arrow, rushed towards Lox at lightning speed. With each step taken, an additional pit will appear on the ground. So fast. Rox's expression froze. In the blink of an eye, Chu Chia had already appeared in front of Lox. Lox remained calm and punched Chu Chia's face. Chu Chia wanted to use close combat to determine the outcome, and of course, Lox did as he wished, after all, this was the only way to convince him. The two of them punched almost simultaneously, and when their fists collided, a huge impact caused the ground within a hundred meters to shatter, with a powerful momentum soaring into the sky. At the same time, all the great pirates on the island of Hachino sensed. Gulalala. Seven nights, this guy is actually hiding so deep. So strong. The momentum just now was not weaker than the battle between Edward and Rox. Who is fighting against Rox? Edward or the Golden Lion? The pirates each had their own thoughts, but they all had the same idea, and the Lox pirates had another big pirate. The two of them punched and kicked each other. In this physical combat, Chu Chia gradually fell behind, but still managed to parry. Chu Chia became increasingly frightened as he fought. Without the dual blessings of the Golden Armor Talisman and the Divine Action Talisman, he would have been lying on the ground long ago. It is hard to imagine that this is not the full strength of rocks. We can't procrastinate anymore. One move determines the outcome. Chu Chia seized the opportunity and slapped rocks in the stomach, then shouted loudly, Five Thunder Talismans. Triple. A five thunder talisman appeared on Rox's stomach, and then it was divided into three parts. Rox suddenly foresaw something and said sternly, You're such a crazy person. Ha ha ha. If you're not crazy, you can't survive. Dot. Bang. A huge thunderstorm exploded between the two of them at the beginning, Chu Chia understood that it was impossible to defeat Rox by ordinary means. Only by taking a risky approach can we have a chance. Chu Chia drew the Triple Five Thunder Talisman in advance, then engaged in melee combat to consume Rox's stamina and gradually divert his attention. Finally, 
he seized the opportunity to hit the five thunder talisman on his body. But detonating a lightning talisman at such a close distance will inevitably result in both parties losing. After the thunder explosion, Chu Chiya knelt down on one knee, gasping for breath. His domineering aura and talismans had disappeared. The right arm that used the five thunder talisman was shattered by the explosion, and the severed limb was covered in blood and flesh. However, this was a small matter for Chu Chia. Chapter 7 Devil Fruit, Do You Eat It or Not? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Kid, I'm really surprised to have such strength at a young age. Maybe I can surpass me in the future. Locke spoke while walking out of the smoke and dust after the thunderstorm, and even lit a cigarette for himself. Dot. Eating the triple five thunder talisman from the front, Locke's was unharmed, even his coat was intact. What Chu Chia thought in an instant was that Rock's was very strong, but not yet invincible. There is only one possibility that this situation will occur, as Locke's has activated his fruit power. You are the third pirate who can fight me to this extent. Lox looked at Chu Chia with admiration on his face, exhaled a smoke ring, and then said, You should have fought enough, right? Go back and recuperate well, the world is still waiting for us to conquer. Chu Chia has run out of oil and the lamp has dried up, even discerning people can tell. Ha ha ha. Chu Chia smiled and stared at Rox, asking, You should be a natural type ability expert right. You guessed well, I am indeed a natural science student, admitted Rox generously. Sure enough. Not many people know this secret, because in this vast sea, there are too few people who can force me to use my abilities. Speaking of which, Lox thought for a moment and then looked at Chu Chia, you. Barely count one. Dot. Reluctantly. Chu Chia felt offended. But he also understood that this was a disguised recognition of his strength by Lox. But Rox's arrogant attitude and aloof expression made Chu Chia very unhappy. There's no way, after all, they have big fists and have the capital to be arrogant. Within five years, I will definitely surpass him. Chu Chia secretly swore in his heart. After the injury is healed, come report to the pirate's team. We will set sail next month, don't be late. When he said this, Locks had a hint of warning. Chu Chia snorted coldly and ignored him. After Rox left, Chu Chia finally couldn't hold on and collapsed on the ground five days later, Chu Chia fully recovered and his severed limb was reshaped with both hands. Chu Chia benefited greatly from the battle with Locks. Let him fully understand that in the face of absolute strength, all tricks are jokes. Chu Chia's house was destroyed in the battle, but it doesn't matter, his belongings are all in the basement under the wooden house. A football field-sized treasury filled with various treasures, with a total value of approximately several billion belly. Arriving at the innermost room of the basement, there was nothing else except for a wooden box placed in the center. Slowly opening the wooden box, a spiral-shaped demon fruit lay quietly inside. Chu Chia bit his lip and prepared to pick up the demon fruit, but as soon as he reached out his hand, he hesitated again. My hand was suspended in mid-air, neither retracting nor moving forward. This demon fruit is not an ordinary demon fruit, it is even rarer than natural demon fruits, animal-type demon fruits. Eating this demon fruit will give Chu Chia a qualitative leap in strength. Combined with the Tong Tian book, it is feared that even the $1 billion bounty level pirate would not be his opponent. What am I hesitating about? Chu Chia lowered his head and struggled on his face. There are indeed many benefits to becoming a demon fruit capable person, but there are also great drawbacks, and seawater and sea tower stones will become his fatal weaknesses. The most crucial thing is that Chu Chia is afraid that after eating it, he will rely too much on the fruit ability thus neglecting the cultivation and application of the eight wonder skills. No. After hesitating for a long time, Chu Chia finally withdrew his hand and his confused gaze became unusually firm. I don't need any devil fruit. I want to become a legend in the world of pirates, 
proving to everyone that my eight wonders are the most powerful force, surpassing any devil fruit. At this moment, Chu Chiye saw his original intention clearly and made up his mind for the future. Thinking through everything, Chu Chiye no longer yearns for this demonic fruit. After covering the box, it was placed back in its original position. Chu Chiye had no intention of taking anything from the treasury, including the demonic fruit of this mythical beast. Bringing this thing onto Rox's ship may cause a lot of trouble. You should know that none of those who can board that ship are good people, all wicked people. Although Chu Chiye is not afraid, he may also find it annoying. Sigh. I hope you're still there when I come back, Chu Chiye said with some regret. After all, it's a demon fruit of the mythical beast kind. Even if Chu Chiye doesn't eat it himself and cheats others for nothing, he will still feel uncomfortable. After leaving the basement and tidying up briefly, Chu Chiye set off for the rocks pirates. Upon arriving at the port of Hachinos and seeing the pirate ship with the rocks logo, Chu Chiye could only describe it as exaggerated. Under the ship, seven or eight giant pirates and a large number of human pirates are helping to transport supplies onto the ship. The adult giant standing over 10 meters tall next to the pirate ship in rocks appears very small, which is enough to demonstrate the immense size of this pirate ship. After boarding the ship, Chu Chiye finally understood why the pirate ship had been built so big. The average height on board is 5 meters, each one as strong as a sea king, with more than 10 giant pirates. Standing next to them, Chu Chiye felt for the first time that he was so short. F-U-C-K, what are these guys eating for? Can they still be friends in the future? Chu Chiye cursed. The only fortunate thing is that I am not the shortest pirate on this ship. Because Chu Chiye saw a guy who looked like Wang Zunin, shorter than him. Gulalala. Seven nights, it's been a long time waiting for you. Familiar laughter rang in Chu Chiye's ears, and it was easy to guess that Edward had walked over. The Edward the first saw today was completely different from usual. He was wearing a black hat, wearing a white war robe, and holding one of the supreme sharp swords, Tsong Yanya. He was majestic and radiant. Edward, you look too handsome in your outfit. Give me a whole outfit too. Edward looked indifferent and said, it's just an ordinary ceremonial robe. All the cadres in the regiment can wear it, and you must have it too. As they were talking, Rox also walked over. Seeing Chu Chia appear on time, Lox was obviously very satisfied, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but rise. Seven nights boy, you didn't disappoint me. Believe me, after boarding this ship, I promise you won't regret it. He he he. Chu Chia pretended to smile twice, too lazy to bother him. Lox is not angry about this either, after all, there are not many people on this ship with good temperaments. Chapter 8 Conquering the Sea Conquer the World You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Standing beside Chu Chiya, Rox faced all the pirates on the ship and shouted loudly, Let me introduce you to him. I believe you all know him. This is the great pirate, Chu Chiya, who is offering a reward of 580 million bailey and is nicknamed the Black Devil. Lox Tun paused and continued, From today on, he will be the ship doctor and core cadre of the Lox pirates. As soon as Lox finished speaking, the commotion immediately began. The Black Devil surprisingly recruited him. It is rumored that he is the most skilled pirate doctor in the New World, with the ability to amputate and reshape limbs, and it is unknown whether it is true or false. Seven Nights Lord, long time no see. Do you still remember me? In terms of bounty, Chu Chiya is not particularly outstanding, after all, this is the Rock's Pirates. But the pirates present, to some extent, have heard of the name of the Black Devil, and many have also healed his wounds there. Renowned second only to Rocks, he is one of the most skilled pirate doctors in the New World. Such a character is difficult not to be remembered. The people on the ship knew Chu Chiya, and Chu Chiya naturally knew them as well. Silver Axe, John, Wang Ji, Ba Jin. Some have met, 
some have only seen them on wanted notices. The Lox Pirates are truly known as the most evil pirate group in later generations, and among the pirates present, there is no one with a bounty lower than 100 million. Apart from Lox, there are a total of three great pirates who have broken the 1 billion bounty. Chu Chie's most familiar white beard is Edward Newgate, with a bounty of 1.2 billion Bailey. The legendary pirate of the future, the Golden Lion Shirji, with a bounty of 1.5 billion belly. One of the four emperors of the future, Charlotte Lingling, with a bounty of 1 billion Pele. It must be admitted that Charlotte Lingling, who was young, could be considered a first-class beauty. However, his personality is basically the same as that of later generations, with extreme selfishness, violence, and a love for sweets. Besides the three of them, Chu Chiya also saw Kaido. But judging from his figure and aura, he probably hasn't eaten the demon fruit of the beast type that can transform into a dragon yet. Kaido's bounty is only about 600 million belly, and he is not a core cadre in the team, so he is considered a member of the second tier. Since Kaido has not yet become a beast, Chu Chiya couldn't help but wonder if he could cut off his beard and seize the demon fruit. Chu Chiya definitely won't be able to eat it on his own. He felt nauseous about Kaido and it was quite satisfying. After introducing the Seven Knights of Chu, Rox continued, to welcome the Black Devil, let's have a banquet tonight to celebrate. Woo! Long live, cheers echoed below. Whenever important members join, Rox will hold a welcome banquet. It has to be said that Rox has a great way of buying people's hearts. The banquet was held from dusk until late at night, with a large area of drunkenness falling to the ground, and Edward and Rox were already drunk and hazy. Only Chu Chie remained calm, after all, drinking was like drinking water to him. Sitting at the top of the flagpole, Chu Chie held a large chicken leg in his right hand and a wine jug in his left hand. Looking at the group of pirates on the deck who were already drunk and not in their physical form, Chu Chie was thinking, if a big move were to be smashed, would the rocks pirates be destroyed by the group? Time passed day by day, and Chu Chie had already met all the members on board, officially becoming a member of the Lox pirates. Only a few pirates, including Edward, are worth befriending and can become companions. Others are either extremely vicious, greedy, or have mental problems. Everyone is a great villain and ambitious person. Chu Chie can even foresee that the crew relationship will become increasingly bad in the future, and internal struggles will become the norm. Finally, it was time for the official departure of the Lox pirates, and everyone gathered on the deck to listen to Lox make the final mobilization. Brothers, the Rox pirates will become a nightmare at sea, everyone will submit to our feet, and all wealth will belong to us. Lox drew his sword, representing the captain's authority, and pointed it towards the sea ahead, shouting in a passionate and surging voice, Conquer the sea. Conquer the world. Long live the Lox pirates. Conquer the sea. Conquer the world. Long live the Rox pirates. Conquer the sea. Conquer the world. Long live the Rox pirates. Everyone, including Chu Chia, felt their blood boiling and their hearts surging. Conquering the sea, conquering the world, this slogan is indeed very infectious, it is the dream of all pirates. At this moment, Chu Chia suddenly had some admiration for Lox. Rox has the ambition to become the king of the world, and why not others? But so far, only he has dared to take this step, to confront world governments and the entire world. Lox pirates, let's go. The huge pirate ship slowly sailed out of the port, gradually distancing itself from the small island of Hachinos behind it Lox took out the nautical chart and looked at it, then said to the giant helmsman beside him, change the course. Let's go poke out that annoying eye first and give Marin Fando a welcome gift. Lox's term, eyes, refers to a neighboring island west of Hachinos, which is an extremely important branch of the navy. Hachinos is pirate island, full of vicious and vicious pirates. Although the navy dare not launch a reckless attack, it cannot be left unchecked. 
The naval branch of the neighboring island is used to monitor the eyes of Hachinos and monitor the movements of pirates on the island. All along, both sides have been completely ignoring each other's existence, as well water does not invade river water. The strength of this naval branch is exceptionally strong, with a total of eight admirals and twelve rear admirals left behind. The number of navies is as large as a cow's hair. Weapons and ammunition, battleship turrets, all equipped with top-dot-notch equipment. After all, we need to monitor Hachinos. If we don't have any strength, we would have been betrayed by pirates long ago. The Locks pirates were discovered by the navy as soon as they entered the territorial waters. The navy on the island was facing a formidable enemy, reporting the situation to their headquarters through telephone worms while dispatching all warships to confront them. Twenty-eight navy warships were charging towards the Rocks pirates in a mighty manner. Before Locks could speak, the pirates on the ship could no longer hold back and began to take action. Heavenly Fire Charlotte Lingling threw out her strongest hummets, the sun Prometheus. A large fireball fell from the sky and in an instant, it destroyed several naval warships. The Golden Lion, using its ability to float fruit, flew onto a naval ship, let it take off, and then suddenly landed, smashing it towards another ship. Many pirate tactics were frequent, and in just a few minutes, most of the 28 naval warships had been destroyed. Chu Chie really wants to take action, but after thinking about it, let's forget and don't embarrass yourself. They are all capable individuals who can unleash their fruit power and easily destroy a piece of land. Chu Chie uses the Five Thunder Talisman, which can blow up at most one ship at a time, and it may not necessarily be successful, after all, if the distance is too far, the power will decrease. We need to hurry up and learn more powerful spells. Chapter 9 World Famous Paintings, All Villains You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After dealing with all the warships and artillery, the rocks pirates successfully docked and all the pirates flocked to disembark. This is the first collective action of the pirates, and the leading captain, Locks, naturally leads the way. Chu Chia is on his right side, approaching Edward. Cadres are mostly in the first row, while combatants stand behind. In this way, an unprecedented team of pirates marched forward in a grand manner, resembling a world-renowned painting, with all the villains present. Under the leadership of eight generals, a navy force of thousands rushed towards Chu Chia and his companions. Rox twisted his neck and sneered, Brothers, let these trash see the strength of the Rox pirates. After speaking, Lox released his domineering aura, and the powerful pressure spread outward centered around him. Chu Chia and others gathered at the heart of the gods and released their domineering spirit. Overlord, only one person among millions of people possesses the domineering aura of a chosen person. But in the rocks pirates, the domineering and domineering aura was like a cabbage, and six people had already awakened. The six dominant colors exude a domineering aura, circling around like waves, wildly spreading and impacting. The majestic aura surged into the clouds, and in an instant, the entire island was dark and thunderous. The imposing pressure of the six domineering colors instantly caused the incoming naval forces to fall to the ground in half. Only naval non-commissioned officers with the rank of lieutenant colonel or above are still standing, but they are already sweating profusely. Sa. Let's play to our heart's content. Ah. With a big wave of his hand, Lox immediately rushed forward and joined forces with the navy. Fire was shining everywhere, and flesh and blood were flying everywhere. The howls of the navy, the laughter of the pirates, kept going one after another. Chu Chia, who had been paddling, also took action. The opponent he found was a naval lieutenant of the giant tribe. Trapped Immortal Talisman Chu Chia swiftly drew two runes with his swift strokes. Fu culture creates two virtual and real chains, firmly binding the giant general and preventing him from moving. After controlling the giant general, Chu Chia kicked his feet and jumped up high, punching him in the face, causing his face to tilt. Bang! The giant's massive body collapsed with a loud crash. 
Stepping on the head of the giant general, Chu Chia murmured to himself, after all, he is only a general in the branch, and his strength is not good. This battle was completely a one-dot-sided massacre by the rocks pirates, and the navy had no fighting power. Monsters. They're all monsters. Run away and report to our headquarters. Eight lieutenants and twelve major generals were all destroyed, and the rest of the navy had become a mess and began to flee in all directions. Chia ha. It's so fun. The Golden Lion held two famous swords, Sakura Ten and Deadwood, and chased the fleeing navy like chopping melons and vegetables. With one strike, three or four naval lieutenants were cut in half by the waist, and blood spurted out two meters high. After the Golden Lion, there was also Kaido, who was extremely cruel in their methods. None of the people they killed left their entire bodies behind. Chu Chi and Edward were both somewhat unhappy, but it was hard to say anything, after all, it was not their business. It was natural for pirates to kill the navy. After the battle was over, everyone began to clean up the battlefield and rushed into the naval base, looting the spoils of war. The navy doesn't have much money, but its weapons and equipment are very abundant, and Chu Chia and Edward have also joined in. Seven knights, find the place where the navy hides money, remember to tell me the first one. Okay. Chu Chia gestured. There is a rule in the pirate group that the first pirate to find the treasure trove can receive an extra share. As a friend, Chu Chia naturally knew that Edward was very greedy for money. But all the money he covets will be used to help his hometown, leaving no trace for himself. I don't have a weapon that I can use yet. Can you help me keep an eye out for it? No problem. Chu Chia naturally disdains treasures, but is interested in famous swords and weapons. This is an important branch of the navy, and it is possible to find a famous sword. Not to mention the twelve skills of the supreme sharp knife, having a big sharp knife is satisfying. After unlocking the divine machine's hundred refinements in the future, what kind of big and fast swords, what kind of supreme big and fast swords, are all garbage. However, the Tong Tian book has only been unlocked so far, and there are also Lingzhu dispatched generals and Feng Ho Chiman behind it. It has been many years since unlocking the divine machine and refining it. Chu Chie can only find a suitable weapon to use first, after all, using a knife is the way, and physical skills have no future. Previously, Chu Chie had been using a surgical knife as a weapon and had also come up with several knife techniques, which can be considered a small achievement. Just as Chu Chie was focused on searching for the famous sword, the problem he had been worried about had already emerged, hey. Damn bastard, I saw this axe first. Give it back to me. Fool, you see first, is it yours? Don't tease me. Damn it, you're looking for death. The pirate who was scolded as a fool did not hesitate and drew his sword to chop. Those who can enter the rocks pirates are not ordinary people, the other party immediately counterattacks. The two of them fought together on the spot, with their moves hitting the vital points without any intention of holding back. The pirate accomplices around were eating melons all the way, not only not going to fight, but also making big bets on who would win between the two. As the captain, Lox had no intention of taking action to stop it. In Rox's view, the world of pirates is a world of the fittest, and those who cannot keep up should be eliminated, just like their own crew. After the weak are eliminated, they can then pull others onto the ship and repeat the cycle. The Rox pirates will always be the strongest pirate group. Chu Chia rummaged through the navy's arsenal, inside and outside. Although he couldn't find the famous sword, he found a finely crafted silver musket that Chu Chia liked very much. He regarded this silver musket as the first trophy of his pirate career. Decades later, Chu Chia's silver musket became a legendary artifact on the sea, known as the Silver Winged Assassin. When Chu Chia went out with his loot and saw the scene outside, people were all dumbfounded. What? Is there an enemy attack? There is a large sea pirate lying outside, dead and injured. The others were watching from the side and didn't go up to help. 
Seeing Chu Chia appear, the injured pirates immediately surrounded him. Lord Chia, please help me, I can't do it anymore. Ship doctor, please help me heal my injury first. Hurry up. Are you seeking death? I came first. How dare you be so arrogant when I cut off one hand? Dot. Chu Chia had no fuck to say. Chapter 10 Naval Iron Triangle You are listening at NovelFull.audio The news of the Navy's Hachinos branch being brutally attacked and the entire army being destroyed quickly spread to its headquarters in Marinfando, and the world government quickly became aware of it. For a moment, the entire Navy was deeply shocked by this news, either in fear, grief, anger, and hatred. The Hachinos branch is the largest naval branch in the New World, and in less than half a day, it was completely slaughtered by pirates. It is hard to imagine how terrifying the opponent's strength is. All senior naval officials, as well as the top five leaders of the world government, held an emergency meeting overnight, targeting the Locks pirates, of course. A group of leaders sat around a long table, with all the information of the Rocks pirates in front of them. The first photo that catches the eye is a collective photo of the All Evil Men of the Rocks Pirates. The following is the basic information of each pirate group member, as well as the bounty order. Sea Lord Locks D. Jibek, Captain of the Locks Pirates, with a bounty of 2.16 billion belly. Gathered a group of pirates on the pirate island of Hachinos to form the Locks Pirates. Edward Newgate, a member of the Rocks Pirates, the strongest superhero in the shockwave fruit ability, with a bounty of 1.2 billion bailey. Black Devil Chu Chia, a member of the Rocks Pirates team and a shoulder ship doctor. He received a bounty of 580 million belly, but his fruit ability is unknown and specific information is unknown. It is rumored that he is the most skilled doctor in the new world of medicine. The above are the information transmitted back by the world government secret spy agency CP0. The marshal's expression was serious, and his two beards trembled slightly due to extreme anger. Not only him, but also the faces of all the senior executives were unusually ugly. The pirates on this large stack of wanted notices are all the most tricky and headache-inducing guys for the Navy. It's difficult to deal with any one of them, but now they're all gathered together and forming a pirate group, with an unprecedented level of danger. No matter what method your navy uses, you must catch all the rocks pirates. The highest leader of the world government spoke confidently, letting the rocks pirates go will definitely shake the rule of the world government. We cannot allow this situation to occur. Dot. The senior naval officers present didn't speak, but they were cursing in their hearts. Are you still trying to catch all of them in one go? You may be living in a dream. The strength of the locks pirates is evident to everyone. To take them down, one can only make long dot turn preparations. The marshal of the navy spoke up and said, Our navy headquarters is preparing to form an advance force to go to the new world, investigate the details of the locks pirates, and then make the next arrangements. I don't care how you arrange it, but we must deal with the rocks pirates as soon as possible and never let them harass the holy land of Marigia. Dot. The next day, a solicitation notice was posted at the training base of the Navy headquarters. Our headquarters will form an advance force and send it to the New World. If the Navy intends to join, they can choose to do so voluntarily. The notice also clearly indicates that the danger level of this mission is extremely high and may result in death at any time. We hope everyone can act within their capacity. After reading the solicitation notice, the Navy dispersed one after another, with only two men and one woman still standing in place. Yoxi. Warring states, Crane, the opportunity for the three of us to showcase our skills has finally arrived. Excited. Cap showed his muscles to the two and said, I want the stinky pirates of the new world to taste the power of my iron fist. The warring states period official on the side said, Kapu, don't be too confident. The pirates in the new world are much stronger than those in the amusement park. If you're careless, you'll die. Don't worry, no matter how strong the pirate is, I will defeat him. 
justice will win. Kapu was full of confidence. The only girl among the three, he, said thoughtfully, our headquarters has suddenly formed an advance team and sent them to the new world. The mission target must be the recently emerged Rocks Pirates. When it comes to the Rocks Pirates, Cap and the warring states were filled with indignation. Killing thousands of colleagues in the division, no navy hates the Rocks Pirates to the bone. Just right. Let's go and catch all the Rocks Pirates. Cap exclaimed the warring states period smiled but did not speak. Cap, you've overthinked it. The advance troops probably won't engage in direct combat with the Rocks Pirates. If they really engage. The crane did not continue with the rest of the conversation. She knows much more about the strength of the Lox pirates than the two of them. Kapu, warring states, and he were the three strongest naval figures of the same period. Kapu's passion, the stability of the warring states period, and the wisdom of the crane complement each other, forming the strongest iron triangle of the navy. Anyway, I must go to the new world and catch those bastards. Do you want to come with me? Kapuyi said solemnly. The warring states period and the crane exchanged a smile and said in unison, of course. In just over a decade, the reputation, infamy, of the rocks pirates has spread throughout the entire new world. Other pirate groups, as long as they see the flag of the locks pirate group from a distance, all flee in the wind. It can be said that the debut of the rocks pirates is the pinnacle. At dusk, Chu Chia sat on the top of the flagpole, wiping his beloved gun while enjoying the sunset. At some point, Edward sat next to him. The flagpole top has always been Chu Chia's exclusive seat, and except for Edward, anyone who dares to come up is a shot. Edward has been in a bad mood lately, and his golden crescent beard has turned a little gray. Believe it or not, the white beard will appear soon. Although he didn't ask, Chu Chie could still guess the reason why Edward was in a bad mood. Watching the sunset set, Edward sighed and said, The scenery here is really nice. No wonder you like to sit here every day. He he he. Chu Chie smiled and said, If you like it, you can come up every day. Gulalala. Let's just forget about it. Whatever you want. Taking a glance at Edward, Chu Chie calmly said, tell me what's on your mind, don't keep it bottled up in your heart. Edward remained silent for a moment before finally speaking up. Seven nights, I thought I would have my own family after joining the Rocks Pirates, but take a look at them. Not to mention family members, the crew of the Rocks Pirates did not even have a sense of camaraderie. Because of a small matter, a small amount of money, they can fight for half a day and fight to the death. Chu Chia, like Edward, had no sense of belonging on this ship.